Hey guys. Hey guys, welcome back to the second part of the institutional bootcamp. And today I'm just going to run over the concept that we touched on in the last video, um, buying low and selling high, but more specifically as to why this takes place. All right? I want you guys to understand the theory behind it all. Right? Let's say I'm going to just draw up some lines here. Right? And at this level here, right, and this level and this level and this level, we're going to have price points, price coordinates. Now, let's say you want to buy an item. You can use any item. You can use a car. You can use a pair of Yeezys or anything, right? And let's say we have here $15. Oops. Let's say we have here twenty dollars. I think you guys get the gist of this. And then if I go here, you know, thirty dollars. And then if I go here, forty dollars. Right. Let's say you want to buy a pair of Yeezys, and you're trying to decide where you want to buy them. Now, you want to sell these Yeezys later on because you know. They can be worth quite a bit. Now, I want the market to be a representation of where you want to buy. Now, do you want to buy when it's at the 20, the 30, the 40, or the 15? Right? You'd be wanting to buy at the 15 right there. Why? Because it's cheaper. Now, I'm going to flip it and ask you the question, where do you want to sell the Yeezys? If you've bought it for $15, do you want to sell it for $20, $30, $15, or $40? You'd probably want to maximize your profit and your return, so you're going to aim to sell it at that 40 mark. Now, these lines here, is the movement of the foreign exchange market and the concept of buy low sell high applies to these markets all these numbers here on the side if i point my arrow over here is these prices and the banks are just trying to buy a low and sell a high and it's your job to follow their footprint right if i go into gu and as you can see, when we start making lower lows and lower highs, and we'll run into how to identify this later, they are going to sell at a higher price, buy at a lower price, sell back up here, right? Because it's a premium, right? And we're going to get into a discount. We're going to buy low, most likely sell high again. Why? because they want to maximize their profit. Now, when I say maximize their profit, what do I mean? Well, like we spoke about on the last video, the top 10 movers are banks. Now, for these markets to move, there has to have something, you know, something has to happen. Now, what happens is, is the banks place orders. They buy and sell. For this leg to occur here, for example, this movement down, this is the daily time frame. So this moved from about October through to December, so a couple months, right? There would have been heaps and heaps of orders that would have needed to be taken place. Now, when those orders did take place, you know, there is a lot of volume that is pumped into here. So naturally, the banks want to come back and close out those orders because they still have buy orders open up here. They run the market higher and then they sell it off. So they bring the market back up to sell it off again. Or if you look here, they buy up, they sell it off, they bring the market up to close out those orders and they sell it off again. Now, as we run through the next couple of videos, we can identify how to know where they wanna sell off from and to get an entry confirmation based upon it. 
So hopefully you guys understand the concept of why the banks buy and sell.